Errors of refraction It is used to describe the variations from perfect coincidence of the principal focus of the eye with the retina. Emetropia is a refractive condition of the eye, in which with accommodation fully relaxed parallel rays of light, converge to form the circle of least confusion, and focus exactly upon the retina. While emetropia is a refractive condition of the eye, in which with accommodation, fully relaxed parallel rays of light, to form a circle of least confusion, and focus either in front, or behind the retina. There are three types of refractive errors, hyperopia, myopia, and astigmatism. Hyperopia, with other name hypermetropia, given by Don Dieters. Farsightedness, or hyperopia given by Helmholtz. Hyperopia is due to the shortening, of the anterior posterior's axis of the eye. It is a refractive condition, in which with accommodation fully relaxed parallel rays of light, converge to form the circle of least confusion, behind the retina. Hyperopia can be corrected by convex spherical lens or plus spherical lens. The image on the left, stimulates what a person with hyperopia could see and the image on the right, is what things look like for a person with perfect vision. Myopia. Others call it hypometropia, nearsightedness, myine, or short-sightedness. Myopia is due to the increase in the anterior-posterior diameter of the eye, which may be associated with an increase in the radius of curvature of the cornea or one of both surfaces of the lens. It is a type of refractive error, with accommodation fully relaxed, parallel rays of light come to focus, and form a circle of least confusion, and focus in front of the retina. Myopia, can be corrected by concave spherical lens or minus spherical lens. The image on the left, is what things look like for person with myopia, while the image on the right, stimulates what a person with perfect vision can see. Astigmatism occurs when the cornea or lens of the eyes is irregular in shape. It is a refractive error with accommodation fully relaxed, parallel rays of light form a circle of least confusion, and focus either in front or behind the retina. Astigmatism can be corrected by a cylindrical lens, either positive or negative. The image on the left, stimulates someone with astigmatism may experience. While the image on the right, represents what things look like for an astigmatic patient who receives vision correction. The general trend is to begin life with hyperopia, and then move towards emetropia, around 10 years of age. This progression continues towards a myopic state, that peaks around 25 years of age, and then shift back towards hyperopia. Most people in their 60s and 70s are hyperopic, after which a small decrease in the amount of hyperopia is seen. This decrease in hyperopia in the elderly is likely to be due to changes in the crystalline lens involving alterations in the refractive index resulting in a myopic shift. This is a project of students from Manila Central University, College of Optometry in their subject, Computer Lecture 1. Thank you for watching.